How's it going, everybody? Nice to have you tuning in on a new uh, legendary video. So, about to take the drone through the air. Heading over the hay field here and uh, climbing steadily up to, uh, to a little bit up in the air. Not going too high because it's, uh, it's still pretty windy. And yeah. Well, as you can see here at the, at the back field, the lighter colors, it's just uh, the tiles that are showing up. So yeah, things are drying down after uh, that four inches of rain we had there last week. So, so yeah, that's about what, 100 millimeters? All within, what was it, 24 hours? So a lot of flooding happened there. You can see where uh, all the water has been flowing and still some water left in the field. They're on the left corner of this field there up against the bush. There's not too many tiles in there, but that'll change in the, in the near future. We'll keep you updated on that. And uh, turning around here, here's the neighbor's farm. And then back here we get the dairy barn or the dairy farm here and uh, yeah. As you can see, I'm not the most uh, experienced guy with this uh, with this drone, but just got the thing there. When was it? The end of the summer, and didn't use it that much in the fall there. So it should uh, should change once uh, once field work starts and the weather getting a little nicer. This uh, this last week has been just well same thing as the week before. Cold, wet. Even uh, as I'm just well recording this, or at least put the voice to the to the screen here. It's just uh, well today was uh, was nasty around the freezing point, and it snowed and it rained pretty much the whole day, and just makes for a messy, messy life. At least when you're on the gravel roads here. It's all gonna be puddles again and just mud, mud, mud. But oh well. But we had a big, uh, big oopsie there happening with all that rain, as you're about to see here, as we're uh, zooming in on that uh, on that bunk wall from the from the corn silage. It. Uh, well, it didn't collapse, but it moved sideways and cracked the wall at a couple spots. So, no good, but it is what it is, I guess. So, yeah, two empty bunks there, or at least pretty close to empty. And then there, uh, the manure pit. Still quite a bit of room in there, but with all the rain we've been getting, every inch that falls down ends up being... Uh, like two inches so that's no fun but it is what it is I guess so hopefully you uh, enjoy this video if you do hit that like and uh, subscribe buttons and if you uh, would like to leave a comment and yeah hopefully you, uh, you enjoy this video well as you can see Got the MX-110 in the, sitting here in the shop and just getting an oil change done, done on it. A couple new filters and, uh, well, I think it needs a new belt tightener here. Cause that thing was sitting pretty solid there, or at least the bearings are coming out. So yeah, what's going on today? Well, other than it being windy again or at least the wind is starting to pick up just took the drone out for a little bit but still pretty cold this morning it was uh, minus six when I left the house and you can see it here on the on the alfalfa the leaves are all white so that's frost, frost damage there 
just walking beside the beside the drive shed here towards the back at least most of the water is gone but it's still pretty wet in the field and we had some uh, yeah, well, some severe water damage as you're about to see because walking over here through the field to the back of the bunks still wet here because all the water run off here from the from the roof so yeah if you look here this wall is supposed to be straight but it's not it is uh, cracked right here in this back wall and then it's sitting in a in a hula hoop right there so I don't know if I can show you guys with extending my pole here what that all will look like So I don't know what that looked like from the top there, but we'll go on top of the bunk and uh, see what it looks like there. As you can see a couple big cracks here in the wall. Like the whole footing pretty much shifted over. So yeah, no good. But what do you do? Big crack here because this is the widest point, I guess. So, yeah, we'll go on top of the bunk and show you there. So, yeah, just climbing up this bunk here because it's the easiest way up. <laughs> Might be getting a little too windy up here, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, this bunk here, it's all corn silage yet. And of course the one beside us here is corn silage. And the one over there is haylage. Third and fourth cut, which we're about to start in a couple days. Yeah, we'll go off here and then go over this bunk. As you guys can see here, this is no good. It looks like it's going more and more still. So one of these days it might just collapse. It's the extra wall here that uh, keeps the sand in. So just play it safe. Go over top of the bunk and. So yeah. Just pull the rebar straight out of that wall. So yeah, this is the widest part there where the big crack is on the other side. And then I pulled itself out of there wall here it's probably getting too windy here but got to show you guys somehow but yeah big crack there and it pulled itself loose there and yeah that's supposed to be straight but it's not so yeah Well, since the MX-110 is uh, in the shop there, 
got the 7700 on the on the TMR mixer here so yeah it'll play with this thing but somebody or something's got to run it so yeah well guys just got home here from a little getaway had to pick something up and well you think the truck is white but well the site said something different so well that shows you how messy the roads are here so with that I'm trying to close this video off and we'll see you guys next week hopefully it's gonna dry down a bit and yeah that's gonna be it Boy.